nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. Uh, see the man in person. It's, uh, oh, that is mine. You, you're, you're fast becoming one of the, the, the great names in, in South African comedy. Yeah. So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, or, what is it you want to know? I'm from here. I grew up here. Grew up in, in Cape Town. Yeah. So. And um, I am um, currently staying in Joburg. Can you tell me how you got into comedy and what, what inspired it? Whether you were just like natural? I was, I was at school and then um, we had like a um, job shadow. You know, job shadow. Yes. And I had to follow some people. And I, I don't think any of the companies sort of wanted to, you know, like I went to a law firm, blah, blah, blah. And then I just. Decided, okay, cool, let me just go follow these comedians. Out of the blue, my drama teacher says, Oh, no, a company, they just follow these comedians around, and then, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and that's where I started. I, I, I followed these guys around, I was like, Oh, cool, they tell jokes, you know, nighttime, party, sleep pretty much the whole day. And I was like, Yeah, cool, I'm in, I like this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was pretty much it. And, uh, and, uh, and, it's been fun ever since, man. Wait, were you naturally funny or...? I wasn't naturally... No, I work a lot. I, I work I work on my funniness. I don't think I'm naturally funny. I try to be funny as many times as I have. As many hours of the day as possible. If I'm, I'm awake for seven hours, I'm going to try to be funny for 45 minutes. Of those seven hours straight, you know? But the rest of the time, I'm, I'm not... I don't think I'm naturally funny. I think I need... Uh, I, need I practice a lot and I work on my gags a lot. There's some guys who just get on and just, you know, but I, I, I'm not one of those dudes. I have to work on it a lot. I, 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 in school, I wasn't like a class clown. I was more like a more daring kind of guy. So I'll do like, so if someone is, um, someone will say, I dare, I dare you to um, do this, and I'll be like, cool, and then I'll dare, you know what I mean? But as opposed to the class clown. You know? What, what, what were some of the days that you, um, you took the memorable the ones? The one that got me in the most trouble was I hit, oh, there was this, the one I did, I hit, the, there were these girls I didn't particularly like, and one of my friends was dead and nuke to hide their bags. I hit their bags, and for like two weeks they didn't find their bags, and they were big fuck up at the school. I went in primary school, we had like corporate punishment, and then just came, this teacher had this. Cane. It was horrible, you know? And I stole the cane, I broke it in half, and we threw it away. I remember we were dancing around the cane, and it was like I was a hero. So I stole it, and then someone snitched. Someone told the teachers, and I was in big shit there as well. But yeah, just stuff like that. Not necessarily, not necessarily like the class cloud. No funny guys in class. It was just straight up charismatic funny. I wasn't one of them. I was actually quite nerdy. It's cool. Not like not like book nerdy, but it's like not cool. You know that you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Not necessarily just because you're not cool in the playground, you're hitting the books. So I was just like an odd person in school. What inspires you your your, your, your the stuff material? That, things that just happen in the world, you know, like um, like uh, the way we operate, you know, like the way we society think the most that that's that's the thing that I sort of talk about and 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 and, and it could rain from it. If, you, if in that context I mean in that premise right you, you can put it in every category and sort of question everything that's happening and that's where the fun comes in. Why do we do things like this? Is it necessary to do it like that? Or isn't this ridiculous? No no, no. And that's what happens. The comedy scene is good. The corporate scene is actually not too good for comedy. It's good for comedy to make money, but it's not the best situation for comedy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, and, and this, as far as comedy clubs in Germany, I mean, which oh, are the, man, the, the can ones work to every night in Johannesburg. Which are the ones to look out for? Uh, there's Tans Cafe every Thursday, there's Bleeding every Tuesday, there's Small Running on Sunday. Monday, there's baseline. Wednesday, it's going on Wednesday. Sure, I forgot. There's Soweto, um, the place called Ozone on, 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 on Wednesday. 
Angelo. There's actually, I, I didn't realize there was that much happening. As far as oh, no, uh, Joe is, is big. Cape Town is, is not, you know, and uh, they don't have enough act as well to sustain the club. For all kinds of reasons, they're not, you know, they're not killing it right now. But Johannesburg, everybody's working, everybody's pushing, and everybody is seeing is more progressive right now. Round of applause for your very own Luis Agola. <laughs>